previously on Rock of Love. Do you want to stay in this house? I need to go home and take care of my business. I want a woman that can dive into my life and my music. I want to stay in this house till me and Brett are in love and then we have to move out of the house. I'm totally doing everything I can to get Brett's attention. I'd like to cash in my coupon right now. I want to do whatever it takes. At this point, my feelings for Brett, I can't turn back what I've started. Brett thinks that I'm just this good, sweet girl, and I had to turn on the heat a little bit. I'm here because I love Brett. I feel like he is the male version of me. Everyone here, let's continue to rock this house. <laughs> Cheers. Fabulous, beautiful morning, the birds are singing, and Christy Jo has finally left. All is happy and peaceful once again in Rock of Love Land. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Daisy, I'm gonna give you the note today. Thank you. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. okay. See ya. Thanks. Bye. As you know, I've been here before, but this time is special and I want to be sure. There's still so much I need to know. Be honest with me and we can only grow. Right now my heart is a little sore because after tonight there will only be four. <gasps> Love, Brett. Hi. Tonight we're having an elimination? That's what it says. I don't know. I'm totally confused, but the one thing that I do know is, is that somebody is going home tonight. Ladies, can I get everyone downstairs, please? After what happened last night with Christy Joe, I feel that today is a day that I absolutely need. I feel that I've gotten fairly close to the truth with all of you. In an effort to get to know you better, I have some very special guests, some friends of yours that I feel will give me the information I may be looking for. All right? Big John, I'm ready to find out with my sexy five girls who's telling the truth, who ain't. What skeletons are gonna fall out of this closet? I'm gonna find out. Brett Michaels is bringing in the big guns. How you doing? This is Destiny's ex-husband. I'm Brett. Man. Nice to meet you. Oh, God. Our exes are here. <gasps> what better way to find out who these girls really are outside of this house of lies than to bring in their exes? Wow. Hello. How are you? It dawns on all of us. Oh, my God. The exes are here. Holy Me and Adam are going to bond today, <laughs> and we're going to become great friends. We're going to lot to look. Not only but a lot about, a lot about. Adam and I were married for three years, and we're still friends. I think that Adam's gonna say good things about me, and I'm not worried about it whatsoever. Hey, brother, how you doing? What's up, man? This is uh, Jessica's ex, Casey. Why does it have to be him? Why does it have to be the guy that treated me like crap? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know who is here for me, but I don't think it's gonna be a good thing. <laughs> Brother, how you doing? Oh my God. Nice to see you. I'm Brett. Nice this is Megan's ex, Josh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I am shocked. A year ago, we kind of dated for six months, and I wanted him to be my boyfriend. And he had another girlfriend that he didn't want to leave for me. That so I'm thinking my ex fiance of seven years is about to walk through that front door. Holy hell. This is Amber's best friend, Adam. Now, I really wanted to find out about Amber's exes, but I could not get one of them to come out. I don't know if this scared me or not. Adam, <laughs> the one losing it, obviously. <laughs> it's my friend, Adam. So I'm thinking, great, I got lucky in this. I mean, instead of an ex that could have like totally thrown me under the bus, I have my best friend here. I'm really nervous right now because I only have one ex-boyfriend in the last five years, so this is not good. This is not good at all. This is really bad. Brother, how you doing? And last but not least, this is Daisy's ex, Charles. My relationship with Charles has been a 
complete roller coaster. I've broken up and gotten back together more times than I can remember or should be allowed. Now, girls, in all fairness to you, I've also brought a friend of mine, someone who I've spent a lot of time with, someone who I really care about a lot. This girl has always had my back. John? I give you Heather. Hello, baby girl. Hi. When I saw her last season, I just thought she's a wild child. I love it. Tattoo parlor, please, guys. Ooh. We can do that. Take your top off and get a mix up. You're gonna date a rock star, you gotta party like a rock star. Oh! I saw you his in there. I don't think you're gonna be that girl. Hi, baby. Holy crap. It's Heather. Woohoo. I am definitely intimidated by Heather. I mean, how could you not be? Look at her. Heather is going to hang with you all today. I know this girl can party. Believe it, so be ready. I hope you brought your extra liver. Because you'll need it today. She uh, she only knows how to party naked. I'm sorry, but it's I've, As will you. I've never seen her with a top on, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> the, um, the truth of the matter is that we have now become unbelievably close friends. We know a lot about each other. You can ask her anything, and believe me, she will tell you. And she's also going to find out a lot about you. And then tonight, she's going to sit with me and pick one of you to eliminate. I cannot believe that Brett is giving Heather this power. If I was Heather and I had the control to do that, I would send home whoever I thought was a great match for Brett because I don't want him to have someone who's going to be good. I'm going to turn you over to the girls. I'm going to grab the guys. We're going to go grab some beers. I'm going to take my girls' exes out with me. We're going to talk, and I'm going to get dirt. In the house, I'm going to have Heather. I'm going to unleash her. I'm really nervous right now. There's something really huge that I haven't told Brett about Charles. Coming up. Who do you guys hate here? Destiny. She's a rock star groupie. Tell me about Destiny. She likes to party. That's my fear. You want to be with Brett, you got to know how to party. And later. All the girls in the house are hammered. They are completely breaking down. I, I want need you to, to know. There's something really huge that I haven't told Brett. And I'm a little concerned Charles is going to tell Brett. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. The party starts right now. We'll start with you. Awesome. First shot. And that's oh. how it's done. First thing that Heather has discovered is the bar. Go figure. OK, so who's up? <laughs> Brett asked me to come in and get the dirt on these chicks, and I intend to do so. Your shirt off. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Heather's only been here for 10 minutes. And already she has us doing body shots and taking our tops off. She's wild. I love her. And they talk. They're like, what's up? Ah! Mind you. <laughs> that girl is going to make us party. And I feel like we've been thrown to the wolf, the head wolf. Here, why don't we go change into sexy outfits? I agree. I love having all topless women in the house. <laughs> Today, I'm simply taking the girl's exes to a cigar club. There's only way I'm going to get information out of these guys is if we're hanging out. Do you all want? Do you guys want to try a cigar? Anybody? If you, I'm on it. You okay? I'm good, boss. You good? You want to try one? Anybody? And everyone knows there's not a better day spent than to spend it with your girlfriend's ex-boyfriend. I'm pretty sure this is going to go real well. But anyway, so I, I don't know where to start. I mean, um, I know it's awkward. And what, what about with Amber? She has this cheerleader-esque win-win-win. But I just wonder with her determination, does she really want to win this for me or because it is what she does? I don't, I don't know that that's the case because okay. she's so genuine, she's so sincere. I mean, you look at her and you can tell whether she's interested or not. Yeah, I got you. It was awkward being with the exes. This is this is my own doing and my own demise. And with Jessica, just she seems nice, young, and innocent. But tell me a little bit about her. She's probably one of the sweetest girls you'll meet. Right, right, right. It's like you said, she's she's real, she's innocent, and I wasn't ready for a serious relationship. No new information here for me. I've known since day one that Jessica is innocent and sweet. What worries me is that if young Casey's able to break Jessica's heart, how is Jessica going to be able to handle my rock and roll lifestyle? So that's the first time I saw her in a long time. Right. I got you. 
This is so wrong. Guys don't sit around and talk about old feelings. Dear God, what have I done? And what do you think about Megan? I just can't put my finger on her. She's a funny girl, she's fun. As, yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as that goes, but uh, you know, if she likes you sincerely, she would want to date you, or if she thinks she can get something from you, Got it. she might want to date you, so. You think she's here just to eat up some modeling or TV time? Uh, well, she did some reality TV, but she may have used that, you know, as a launching platform. Got it. Josh tells me that Megan has been on another reality show before coming in to do this one, and uh, I had no idea. She's never been forthcoming with that information to me, so I just don't know uh, what her real purpose for being here is yet. Like, seriously, you're, you're trying to date a rock star, okay? So, you know, maybe you guys even need to just kind of, like, pop out of your show. I feel pressured to make a good impression on Heather because Brett thinks that I might be too innocent to handle his lifestyle, but I will prove him wrong. This is f him! Oh my god! You guys, I'm a little jellioso about this. Okay. Really fast, really fast. Sit down. Right before the other girls come back, okay. who do you guys hate here? Because someone's got to go home tonight. This is the deal with Destiny. Who's She's Destiny? Dark hair girl. Okay. This is number one fan. Yeah. How old is she? 31, 32. Oh, so she's, so she's, she's a poison fan. fan. Yeah. She's a rock star groupie. That, that's what it is. And I would, you look familiar, else. so where, where do I know you from? I've done a lot of TV stuff. So you've been on other reality shows, right? I was on one other reality show. So which one was it? Beauty and the Geek. So far, so good. Everything is going just like I planned, and the girls are already spitting out the truth. I love it. I'm good. So let's go sit down and let's like get drinks out here with a hot tub. Okay. So like, who are your favorite bands? Poison, Motley Crue, mm -hmm. ACDC, Great White. I love all that. Like, I just saw Poison and Rat play in August right by my house. Have you ever dated a rock star though? I was in love with um, this. He was the drummer for um, Brides of Destruction. Destiny is going on and on about all of her favorite rock bands, and it's pretty obvious that she's a rock star groupie. And I think Heather is just taking it all in. Okay, starting to play Truth or Dare. Jessica. You're just a little quiet, and cute. Have you ever got a <laughs> me? <laughs> right? Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Truth or Dare? Dare, baby. Ah, I knew you were gonna say that. Okay, so I want you to take all your clothes off, and I want you to do a cartwheel on the grass. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Ten. Yay! If you want to be with Brett, you gotta know how to party. So I had to show Heather I could I could definitely party. Everyone's still cool, having a good time? Sure. Yeah, oh, for sure. As strange as the situation may be. Exactly. And tell me about Destiny. I know you were married. She likes to party. But she'd go to concerts and shows all the time, and I'd let her go. She likes to rock and roll. She, she loves, loves it. it. That's, that's the great thing about her. And that was also my question, my fear as a guy, and being in a band and seeing all the things that happen. I don't want to ever have a fear that if I let her go to a concert, the only thing she's looking for is a backstage pass. Destiny sets on the fine line between rocker chick that's super cool and possibly uber groupie. I'm not sure yet. And how about Daisy? No days for a long time. Right. We were in a relationship together for a good three years. She was in the same band with me, so gotcha. we toured together. Do you and Daisy, do you still have feelings for her? Does she have for you? Um, I just want to see Daisy happy. Do you guys still have a physical relationship? No. Gotcha. Okay. I straight up asked Charles if Daisy and him still have a physical relationship, and he says no, but I kind of noticed him squirming a little bit. I need to get to the bottom of that and find out what was really going on. What do you guys think? You want to split and go grab some food, and then we'll get out of here and go back to the house? Cool. All right, cool. These guys are giving me some great information. However, I need to go someplace where I can liven it up a little bit, if you know what I'm saying. Honestly, we all really get along. It's There's so many against each other. I love the fact that you guys all love each other this and that, but someone's going home tonight, and I need to know who the f is the worst one here for Brett. This is very difficult because I feel like this person is the closest person to me in the house. Okay. But I just feel like Jessica's too innocent and she's too not prepared for, for his lifestyle. For him. Okay. But you've only uh, yes. known me for two weeks. Okay. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with you. I don't I think, think there's anything great. wrong with me. I'm not worried well, about Well, I'm not mm -hmm. asking for a defense. Okay. This whole time, Megan and I have been obviously the closest to each other, and then suddenly, I feel like she was using my weaknesses against me and trying to throw me under the bus. And to be betrayed really sucks. Oh, honey. I'm fine, I'm no, fine. Okay. Oh, what actually? Sorry, are you okay? <laughs> Let's go talk. Me and you want to go talk? Come on. Yeah. Yeah.
I didn't say anything negative about her. I just said that she was very innocent and naive. But obviously, point proven. Didn't take much for that. It sucks. Like, I'm getting, like, played hard here. Like, I feel like everybody ignore their faults. They want to be like, no, I'm perfect. I'll tell you the pros and cons of everybody. Okay. okay. Destiny. I'm the wrong person to be going after. If Heather's here to get rid of the girls who aren't here for the right reasons, then I feel like pointing her in the right direction so she knows who they are. Megan, I can see where she's coming from, but she's just trying to play it. She's already done, like, a reality show. Holy hell. If I'm getting this much dirt immediately, what other dirt is there? Coming up. There's a few things I still need to know about. Daisy, I don't want to be an ass, but what's up? Whatever dirt he has on you, I'm, he's going to tell Brett. I need you to know. It's time to come clean with some things. And later, it is time to figure out whose head rolls. This is the one that I have the most problem with. I don't know what's going on at this point. She completely lost it. If I wanted to keep her here, are you cool with that? Do you still love Scott? No, no. He actually. What band he, was he with again? I, uh, I can't Rise of the Shushan, Nikki Six's side band. You really are into rock music and you really like rockers and you keep like finding the wrong ones. Is that what's going on? Exactly. I'm here to get the dirt on these chicks from my friend Brett. So far it's been pretty easy. So I'm pretty much just gonna sit back, make my rounds, and take notes. This is just a trip, man. I'm gonna They're crying. Daisy, hold back. You can't hold back. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it, you're making us play Daisy. Stop it, f***ing care. This is so f***ing mean. It's like, it's so hard. I would never ever f***ing wish this on anyone. I don't know what do. I don't want to There's something really huge that I haven't told Brett about Charles. And I am kicking myself for not having told Brett this, but either way, it's probably going to come out. You know what? I need to f***ing talk to you. Oh my like, god. Like, really Come on, honey. I'll talk to you in a minute. What's going on? Oh. It's time to come clean with some things. Whatever dirt he has on you, I, he's gonna tell I Brett. I need. I, I need Brett you to, to know. Well, you, well, then you need to tell me because he's gonna ask me if you were honest with me. The, the only one thing is, is that we still live together. Holy hell! I cannot believe Daisy just told me that she lives with her ex-boyfriend. We signed a lease together, and I. Do you have a two-bedroom or one-bedroom? We have a. One bedroom. First thing you need to do is move out with your uh, move out of your boyfriend's house. You don't need to be here trying to date Brett. Live with your boyfriend, honey. Come on. Who does that? Who comes on national television to date a guy living with their ex boyfriend? We haven't been physical with each other for like almost two years. Okay. I thought I knew Daisy, but I find out now Daisy has been lying to Brett this whole time, and it pisses me off. Because you have been I don't want to. Yeah, I'm not that person. Just throw them on the street? Yay! I never talk about my private personal battles because I feel like those are my own personal things. And But I'm at a situation right now where I feel like I have to, and it's really, really, really tough. I need to out of my environment so bad. I can't help with the person that I was before I met Brett. So you need to on. hurry up and get to Brett so he can get you out of that, con get you, he can come and whisk you away. I don't know fun. what I know. All I know is that like, I don't want to go home. I don't know what <laughs> Girl is a total blubbering train wreck. Same. And I'm glad we had a great talk. You totally. You have nothing else that you need to tell me? No. And that's all I need to know. I gotta pee. And I've gotta talk to the rest of the girls. <laughs> Hurry up and come talk to me before Please, we all yeah, sit down here. Go on, happen. Let's go back here. Okay, so. Who do you want to go home tonight? I can give you my opinion on it. Hola. Hey, hey there. Sir. You guys would rather Jessica or um home versus Daisy? I think that Daisy is a better match for Brett than match. Jessica. It's but I cannot Daisy. believe someone would come here living with their boyfriend. It pisses me off because I love and Brett. Then, Heather is saying to me, Daisy is still living with her ex. So I think that that's great. Find something terrible about somebody and focus on that. If my boyfriend and yeah, she looks pretty shocked. I'd be falling apart too. <sighs> How you doing, My man? Name's Sergio. Nice I'm to see you, Sergio. Ambassador for today. Dave and Buster's rocks. You get some good food, lots of drinks, play a few arcade games. I think this would be a good place for me to hang with the guys. I don't know what that game is, but I'm curious to play. <laughs>
Jumper, jump in, guys. Sit down. So here's the question. You've obviously got your pick. Yes, go How ahead. How do you convince them that you're sincere? You know, it's tough for me to do. I'm pretty open, you know what I mean? Just, uh, the whole situation is odd to, to be competing for affection, you know? Like, it's, uh, I can't tell you that it's not awkward. Yeah. Like, you go out and you're having a date. It's tough enough to date one girl. Imagine dating three on the same date and you're using the same line. And they're like, can you just say that to her? And I'm like, oh, um, yeah, no, it's pretty wild, you know? Cheers, by the way. Cheers. 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 Uh, cheers. I'm having a good time with the guys, but before we head back to the house, I really need to talk to Charles one-on-one. -on -one. He says Daisy and him have been on and off for years, but I can't help but wonder if Charles and Daisy still don't have a little bit going on. So while the other guys go off to play some games and have some fun here, I need a little time to hang with Charles. Me and Daisy, obviously, she's a beautiful girl. But I just, there's a few things that I still need to know about her. It seems like you two, when you walked in the house, had a good connection. It didn't seem bad. I'm just saying, if you two still have a great physical connection or a love connection or whatever, I don't want to get emotionally attached to her. I understand. It's, it's the straightest. Like, I know it's difficult for you, too. Yeah. I don't want to be an ass, but, it, you know. What's it, up? Maybe it's, yeah, what's up, you know? What's up? Yeah. I'm not sure quite what to make of Charles. He's a bit of a conundrum wrapped in an enigma wrapped in a mystery. I well, I think we're done, man. Let's go they, I'm gonna collect up the boys. To, uh... I think we're going. I don't want to be that, but I don't see, I'm not seeing that being innocent is a bad thing. That's not who I am. At this point, I've had a few drinks, I'm starting to feel a little bit drunk, and it's just so frustrating to every day to have everybody tell me how sweet and innocent I am, and it's really starting to piss me off. The minute I saw you, I was like, that was someone I would be friends with. That's why My I entire the life, way. that is someone I pinky swear with. Jessica, but I just feel that you're very innocent. This is ridiculous. This isn't kindergarten anymore. There's no pinky swearing. Where is Brett? Jessica feels that she's not innocent, that she is hardcore, and she can drink and party, and she's very mature. Stop drinking is not, drinking is, this is a bad idea. Stop, not the answer. If Jessica wants to prove that she's not the little girl that everybody thinks she is, drinking more and more and more and falling apart is not the way to go. Come on, let's go over here, come on. Uh, mm. Oh my God, girl, you wore me out. But she needs <laughs> help right now. Matt, you, you don't drink, and I didn't realize She that. does not drink. How in the hell are you gonna handle this lifestyle? Right. Hey. Huh. Oh, look how cute you look with that hair. You're welcome. <gasps> oh, there she goes, baby, there she goes. Come baby, on. come on. Come on. Get in her. <gasps> Jessica is so hammered. I mean, she's throwing up all over the place. She's falling down. She's pulling people down with her. The poor girl. Oh, my <laughs> Forward. Hello. So I get home and I want my girls. I need to see my girls. I want to touch them, hold them, feel them. And they're nowhere to be found. I'm like, I want to be with them. Jessica. And ah! whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! What are you doing? <laughs> it's okay. Tell me how you feel. Should I go out and look? Uh oh. Light. oh. Jessica. What's going on? Everybody's it's been crying. Oh, no. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I need yes. you. I, right now? It's the first time ever. Right. Like, I have to, like, I just have to tell you, <laughs> please don't go. Okay. No, right. no, I no. Won't, I won't go. Look. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Brett. Uh-oh. Heather, what have ye done? Hot. Come on, I remember Brett. my first beer, come on. I know. not Pinky Pukerton. Brett. <laughs> Jessica is out of her mind. I know we're moments away from projectile. I don't want to be alone. You're not gonna be alone. Oh. Here, watch this, turn your head, turn your neck. This will make you feel really good. Me. I don't hate you, I love you. I would never hurt you. What is, did he talk to you, or did he not want to talk to you, or? Brett? Yeah, I talked to him. What did he say? He just, 
Talk to him. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Heather into Brett's room, have her download him on everything that she learned today about all of y'all. Okay. So what's been going on? Coming up, it is time for me to figure out whose head rolls. Give okay. me the DL on Daisy. She still lives with her boyfriend. Heather drops a little bomb on me. And later, this is a really tough decision for me to make tonight. I laid my whole world out on the line. She still lives with her ex-boyfriend. Why is she here for Brett? Doesn't make sense to me. Okay, give me the download. What do you think about the girls? Now that I've hung with the guys and Heather has hung with the girls, it is time for me and Heather to talk and figure out who's been naughty, who's been nice, who's staying, and whose head rolls. Maybe we start with the drunken Jessica. Okay, and let me just say, she's very, very young, Brett. Can you picture her on tour with you like that? No, and what I'm saying is she's not only a young in age, she's also a young soul. She just may be too young for me. Okay. Next on the list. Okay, Megan, you know she was on Beauty and the Geek, right? I didn't know that she was on that show. However, her ex-boyfriend mm -hmm. said that she was definitely on TV. His big She's an opportunist. She was on Beauty and the Geek. At least she's upgrading to Rockstar. I think that's moving up the ladder, right? Her boyfriend said to me, he What was, did he say? He says, I can never quite tell if she's there because she actually likes you or if she's there as a stepping stone. And here's the other thing, too. Anytime she talks to me, the expression doesn't change from I will kill you to I love you. It's the same expression on her right. face. Right. The upside on Megan is she's got a great rack. Cool. You're a lucky girl to be able to, you know, be in this situation. You wanted to come here because you wanted to advertise your bar. Yeah, that's an opportunity. Exactly. Well, there you go. Myself. Josh is wearing this ridiculous shirt with the name of his bar in the city that it's in. Yeah, you got to put that shirt on air on VH1. <laughs> Where millions and millions of people got to see that. You should be thanking me. I I'll thank you for that. What would you expect a businessman to do in that situation? He tells me the only reason I'm here is to promote my bar on national television. It was just so selfish, and I'm upset about it because, like, I still care about him. You want to go talk? You want to go inside? You want to walk? Yeah, it's therapy. So Megan starts crying, and I'm thinking, I've never seen this girl cry before. He's saying to me, I'm here to promote my bar. I don't care about you. It hurts because he didn't want to be my boyfriend two years ago. I'm thinking something's going on here. She's not over her ex. I wanted him to be my boyfriend so bad, and he refused to. <laughs> One thing I do know is that Brett needs to know about this before elimination tonight. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to Amber. Okay. What, Amber, do you, what is your thoughts? You know, I really like Amber. She's my age, she's sweet, she's mm -hmm. cool. However, I just don't think your lifestyle would mesh well with hers. Got it. Like, she'd be uncomfortable like on a tour bus when yeah, we don't want that. Now, my sweet, sweet destiny. The bottom line with her is, I just think she wants to date a rock star. She really loves rock and roll and loves possibly almost, <clears throat> could be any guy That's in, in a, a band. band. You, you and me are dead on that one. Yeah. Now, Daisy, give okay. me the DL this on Daisy. This is the one that I have the most problem with. Okay. The fact that she still lives with her boyfriend Ex-boyfriend. Heather drops a little bomb on me. Charles and Daisy still live together, but they're just friends. She's never addressed that she lived to me ever with a guy. I'm like, she was the worst one here for you, period. All right, so Heather, thank you. This is why I love you. You got these girls to finally go over the edge. I need to sit down with Charles and Daisy and figure out if they still got feelings for each other. I can deal with any baggage, but if they're still emotionally connected and there's still feelings there, I can't fix that. Tell me, tell me what's going on. At no point did you ever tell me that you two still live together. And, and you've had lots of times, though, to tell me stuff. 
Brent is concerned that I live with my ex-boyfriend and I don't know if he understands it, if he can accept it. I hope so. We had a long relationship right. and we're, we're really close. We're really, we're best friends. But you know what? Our physical relationship has been for a long time. Here's the deal. I'm very attracted to Daisy. I feel that if she stayed here, she would possibly be my rock of love, the girl that I'm actually trying to look for. Go with me. You said something to me today, which I admired you for. You said, I just wanted to be happy. My thing is, if I wanted to keep her here in my life, are you, are you cool with that? Yeah, am I cool with that? Yeah. OK, and you're a cool guy, and, and hopefully telling me the truth, and that's all I can ask for, you know? I hope that Charles and Daisy are telling me the truth, because I really like Daisy, and he seems to be cool about it. I'm not sure I do believe it, but I want to believe it. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. don't know what's going on at this point. I have no idea what I've been saying, what I've been doing. I've pretty much missed it all. The girls have told me I threw up a few times, but I will make it to elimination, damn it. I will make it if it kills me. All right, here's the deal, everybody. I just want to say thank you guys for coming out here. I know it's been a long day, and it really helped me get a lot of information and stuff I was looking for, and I appreciate your time. So thank you for coming out. And I think bringing the exes is a very scary idea because it could have went horribly wrong. But these guys were pretty class. I think they gave me a lot of insight on the girls. And inevitably, that's what I was looking for. I'll see you all see in a little bit. I'm going to get ready for elimination, OK? I know you got to get ready, but I just right. need to speak to you for like three minutes. Absolutely. You want to come now? Yeah. OK, you got it. I have to get in there and tell Brett what's going on with Megan because he has no idea. I learned a lot today. Okay. I learned a lot about the other girls. And there's one in particular I just really think you should know about. Tell me. And that's really? Megan. I've never seen her cry over you. Right. But tonight, I saw her ball. I saw her be so upset, repeat the same thing over her about her ex-boyfriend. You know, it, it, it shouldn't bother her that much. I'm like, you're here for Brett. You're not here for him, and you shouldn't worry about that. This is really eye-opening. I know. All right. well, I'm sorry. Thank you. All right. I'll All see right. you later. OK. Amber tells me that Megan has been shedding tears and crying, not over me, but over her ex. Now, that one kicked me right in the nards. Hey, Big John, could you do me a huge favor? Could you go down and uh, get Megan for me? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, You're right awesome. Thank you, buddy. After what Amber told me, I got to admit, I got pretty pissed off. This is something I needed to settle right here and right now. Hey, bro. Andre. Hey, bro. <laughs> Look, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. So I'm so excited that Brett wants to talk to me before elimination. I run, I jump on him, I attack him, and I give it to him. Megan is good. She's real good. She's really, really trying to distract me from the real issues. <laughs> Do you still have really strong feelings for yeah. Josh or no? Who? No. Oh my God, that was forever ago. Amber brought that to my attention. She thought you were crying a bit <gasps> over an ex-boyfriend. She said she was me? No, you just got to be confused with somebody else. Right. Do I believe Megan? I feel like Brett really understands what I'm saying, that we're really connecting and we're on the right track. You gotta go. <laughs> I've got everything from Heather, every story that my brain can handle. I now need to think this one over. This is gonna be a tough elimination. Coming up, I've got one pass. I laid my whole world out on the light. This is a really tough decision for me to make tonight. I've never seen Megan cry over Brett, and I saw her sob over her ex. I don't know if Brett's gonna want somebody that can't handle his rock and roll lifestyle. <laughs> Jessica got so hammered today, and she couldn't really hang. I don't know if Fred's going to want somebody that can't handle his rock and roll lifestyle. I <laughs> laid my whole world out on the line. Like, I hope that Brett loves me as much as I love him. And <laughs> <laughs> the hate.
haters, man. I rallied tonight. Yeah, I don't remember it, but I was there and that's all that really counts. I'm feeling pretty confident tonight because I didn't throw up, I'm not a stripper, and I don't live with my ex-boyfriend. Yep, I think I'm pretty good. Hello. First of all, today has been a very interesting, not to mention awkward day for me. But I got a lot of good information and I spent quite a bit of time back there talking it over, not only with Heather, but mostly when just making this decision for myself. This first girl, I think she's there for me. She has stepped it up. I feel close to her. I feel connected. Amber, would you come down here, please? You look very sexy tonight. Thank you. So will you continue to be in this house and rock my wall? Yes. My feelings for Brett have grown so much, and that feels really good to have your feelings validated by the man you love. This next girl, she is a true rocker at heart. There's something about this girl that I really dig and, and, and some more stuff that I need to know. So Destiny, would you come down here, please? Destiny, would you stay here in this house and wear that dress as often as possible and rock my world? Oh, yes, Brett. <laughs> I feel that the next girl I'd like to keep here, I think that she has held back some information from me, but I would like her to stay here with me and know more about her, but I completely want this girl to be completely honest and open with me. So Daisy, would you step down here, please? I am like really freaking relieved that I got a pass right now. And he understands, like he's understanding me. No more bull all right? No more, right? Just straight up. Daisy's past is definitely sketchy, but you know what? I think there's a good soul down in there and I do not want to let her go. Do you want to stay in this house and rock my world? Yes. She still lives with her ex-boyfriend. Why is she here for Brett when she still has somebody at home? Doesn't make sense to me. So, um, there's some other things that I want to tell Brett just to make sure that he's okay with some other stuff. And I hope that I get a chance to do that immediately. Here's the situation. I've got two really beautiful girls and I've got one pass. I really don't want to leave, not under these circumstances, not the way everything's happened today. I really don't want to go home. This is a really tough decision for me to make tonight. I'm in shock. Why is, why is he doing this to me? I'm going to be devastated if I'm going home. There's one pass left, and it's between me and Megan, and it looks like I actually am really going home. I do feel like Megan should go home tonight. I've never seen Megan cry over Brett, and I saw her sob over her ex-boyfriend. I've got two really beautiful girls. I've got one pass. It is down to me and Jessica, and she has barely wiped the puke off her face, and I can still smell it. She's definitely going home. I made this decision today that this girl staying, I think they're here for the right reasons. So Jessica, would you come down here, please? I can no longer tell you that you would not be able to deal with the rock and roll lifestyle. You know what? I think Jessica is genuine. I think she's here for all the right reasons. She tells me she loves me. She's got more energy than anyone to know. It's, it's tough to not like Jessica. Jessica, will you stay in this house? and continue to rock my world. I'll try not to throw up on you. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've made an ass of myself in more ways than one, and I'm sure I owe him an apology. But I definitely showed Brett another side of me. Megan, would you come down here, please? I just want to tell you, will you hold my hand? No? That think you're beautiful. And there's just something inside of me that says, I just, I, I can't, I can't seem to get to that next level. I just don't think it's gonna work for us, okay? And I'm sorry, but the tour ends here. I really am sorry.
Megan is just standing there and Brett clearly wants her out of this house. She just doesn't understand. Baby, I really tried. I mean, I did, I just... But... It's... Really, I'm sorry. Don't walk out with me. I cannot believe it. I really thought that me and Brett were falling in love. I really did have feelings for Brett, and it hurts that he didn't see that. Just give me a kiss, No. Please. It's not for all. <laughs> in the end, I decided to let Megan go. I just wasn't quite buying the story that she was here for me. <sighs> all right, so here's the deal. We're about to take it up a level. We are gonna pack our jump in a Learjet tomorrow, and we're gonna fly to Vegas and party like rock stars, all right? All right? And I'm taking with us a very, very special guest, Heather, will be joining us for a Vegas party. Heather really is helping me get information out of these girls. She is doing a great job, and I'm just hoping and praying Heather can help me find out even more about these girls. Come on down, come on down, let's get a beer. I'm so happy that Heather's coming with us to Vegas. We're gonna have so much fun. To partying like rock stars. I don't know so much about Heather coming with us, but I'm going to Vegas with my man, Brett, and we are going to have a good time. Next time. Let's go. I'm taking the girls to Vegas to party our asses off. Yeah. My mission is to bring down all the fake Tramparooskis. If you guys hooked up with Brett, yep. She's not threatened by none of you guys. You guys will both go home tomorrow if you're too nice. I think that Heather has filled these other girls with some thoughts and had them turn against you. Does anyone else here live with their ex-boyfriends? You. No. You don't know You better shut the up right now. Why do you live your ex-boyfriend if you're trying to date Brett Michael? Why do I need to tell you? I've never had four crazy, psychotic people coming at me. Why are you all getting on my I'm not. Knees? I'm talking to you. What the you? Go ahead. Anyone? Go ahead. Go for it. We'll find some chalk. There's nothing on this cue, dude. I don't know. No, that, that makes for a real bad game of pool. No chalk. No shiny.